hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to install boost c++ libraries on your ubuntu operating system so why we, we use boost libraries boost libraries are the set of c++ libraries which helps you to write some complicated programs suppose if you are want to write a program which communicate between two serial devices or for example you want to write a program which analyzes the file system or regular expression or many things uh, boost libraries have which makes your life simple while you are writing the c++ program so that's why we uh, use c boost c++ libraries now let's see how we can install these libraries on our ubuntu operating system so just open your terminal and in here just give this command so write sudo apt minus get install lib boost minus all minus dev so give this command in order to install boost libraries on your ubuntu operating system and press enter and because i already have installed these libraries so it says me that uh, these libraries are already in the newest version but when you install boost libraries for the first time you will be prompt to uh, give some yes command or y command and then it will take around three to four minutes to install boost libraries on your system and once these libraries are installed in your ubuntu system you can go to your file system here so click file system and in user folder and in include folder you will be able to see this boost libraries or boost folder that means all the boost libraries are installed in your system okay so let's try and make a simple c++ program which uses these boost libraries and we are going to use eclipse for writing our c++ program so i open my ide eclipse ide i make a new c++ program and i name my program as boost test for example and i will choose this hello world project next next and next and finish and this will create a boost program c++ program for us so now it's here so we have boost test program and we have the simple hello world program so what i'm going to do is i will remove or i will replace this program with the simple boost program which analyzes the number of folder in your uh, given path so i'm using boost file system libraries for that and right now you can see there are so many errors while i'm use i'm writing my code for boost file system so what you need to do is 
you need to provide the libraries which you are using in this case I am using boost file system so that's why I need to give the path to the libraries and the libraries which I am using so just go to your project right click your project C++ project and go to the properties and in the C build menu go to settings and in the settings you need to go in this cross G++ linker and in this you need to go here in the library section just click it I make it little bit bigger so it's vis visible properly so go here this libraries in the cross G++ linker in the settings right and in the libraries I will add the name of the library which I am using which is boost file system so I will write boost file system so these library depend upon the program or libraries of boost you are using if you are using regular expression li library or if you are using boost ASIO library then you need to change this library name from here so click OK and once again I will click this plus or add button and I will include one more libraries called boost system this is the native libraries uh, the library of boost so you need to ins include this library also in order to compile your program so this library you need to install because you are writing the boost file system program and this is the native library so you need to ins uh, write uh, include this to every program and in this library search path you need to give the path of the libraries so I already told you that our library are in user include folder right so I will click this add button here and I will go to file system and in here I will go to file system and search for user where my boost libraries are so user include and you can see my boost library is here so you don't need to click this boost just click user and include and press ok and you see users uh, include just go that far only don't include this slash uh, boost it will recognize it automatically S click OK and now you have these two things so you have included these two library names and the library search path and click OK and when you do that and when you save this program and you build your program once again so you can just right click and build project also uh, or you can click this button for build and you will see that our program will compile successfully I hope so the process is going on right now I'm running this on my virtual machine that's why it's giving me 
such a delayed response but on your native ubuntu operating system it will be faster you still see these error because you can see here it's indexing those libraries so when this will reach to 100% then these error will go but our build is successful there are no error here you can see so there are no error in our program and uh, now you can see there is no red lines because our program is successful so this simple program just finds the number of files in your given path so I will run my code or you can see this code like this so if you want you may also write this code so just pause the video and copy the code if you want and when I run this it will give me the response so you can see in the console my program is made and I have 13 files in my home Ubuntu folder okay so that's the program for using boost file system so I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have liked this video please keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now